Hey everybody, so the time has come for Mr. and Mrs. Gatologist to move house and uh, all the things that come along with moving a house have to be done including inspecting the new house with the official inspector guy so we're gonna go meet the inspector for the new house and maybe uh, you'll get to see the new Gatologist digs so stick around From the inside? Yeah. What is so that? Basically, it, it gives me a thermal picture of everything in the house and okay. the colors. You know the wall? Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. That's because there's a cooling line that runs oh, up the middle of the second floor. Oh, isn't that the coolest thing ever? Okay. Yeah. So you can truly see stuff that you wouldn't. And the reason why this is important is you'd look up here and you go, oh, that's a big red spot right there, or a light red spot. It's because it's not the missing insulation there. Uh, right, or oh, because okay. of the heat that's coming through. Sure. Or I might look at a lower area and go, oh, there's moisture there, but that's not moisture. That's, that's actually the from the vent. Oh, God. Right? So do you I'm go going... around the whole house and do that? Exactly. Oh, you're so it tells me... That's something new that you're doing, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. I've never seen yep. you do that before. Because it tells me I can actually see things that like, you couldn't see otherwise. Yeah. Um, if there's moisture and it's evaporating, it's going to be a cooler area. Right. And so you helped me to identify that, whether it's a leak in the roof or other issues like that. So it's a pretty quick process. You know, I'm looking at that section going, there's a vent right there beside that window. Right. That goes up to the second floor. You can see the clear blue lines floor to ceiling. And so I'm just going to quickly breeze through the rooms. We got another vent here in this corner goes up to the second floor. Right. Another one right on the edge of that board. Actually, two there. At the, at the telephone switch, one below it. But you're not seeing any hot spots really through the walls, like. Uh, well, you see them at the door, right? Through, so you, you see, see them through the, the doors. Yeah, like that. And see around it, so you can obviously see the light colors there. Right. Here we're looking at the the um, the vent coming into the wall there, sure, and I look sure. at the two streaks going up the wall. Those are the cold air vents go up to the ceiling to uh -huh. the second floor but if there was a, a leak in the roof or something and that was moisture then you'd see a, a more you know a, a different kind of hotter patch there. yeah it wouldn't be hot it would be evaporating evaporation oh okay so you'd see like a tornadic kind of thing yeah well you see a cold spot i have to understand systems and, and how houses function to interpret what you're looking at right the vents that run through the ceiling here as well. Remember the heat loss in the corners up here as normal. Often the insulation gets thin along the eaves here, and so it's a little, you have some red spots that come up along the eaves. It's very normal. You've got lots of missing insulation here. Yeah. Wow. That's all missing so insulation. I totally see that. You That's see? just big patches of missing insulation. That's it. And you could you wouldn't be able to see that from the uh, from the attic. Mm -mm. Wow. Can you see that? I do. Absolutely. And it's like the, it's just the whole strip, isn't it? Yeah. Now, is that a contractor, you think, that just jipped out the, uh, the homeowner? I, I suspect that they did some work there at one time. I don't know what kind, but um, that they moved the insulation out to repair the ceiling here because you can see this crack in the ceiling. Yeah, and I noticed one out here too. Yeah, it's been repaired. They've cut or something. Yeah. yeah. So instead of going back up there and, and replacing it, they just left it. Yeah. The fun thing about this is that this is an older model and um, they made the same hardware for about four different models but different software. Uh huh. And um, 
funny thing is, is that the company, one of the employees, gave away the hack. So you can upgrade the, the base model to the, to the model with <laughs> well, the hack. That's great. Did you hack that one? Mm -hmm. Awesome. <laughs> That is a what? A FLIR? FLIR. 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 That's a 4, E4. Uh, well, it's supposed to be, but it upgraded to an 8. That's incredible. It's about a $4,000 camera as an 8, but only about 900 as a 4. Back up here and you can see it. So you can see the, 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 the green, uh, the, the blue lines there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, absolutely. Windows. Lots more. The bucks here. This cold from the dot work. See my really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you see it fades. Totally it fades. That's cool. Do it one more time. No, it's four. That's see awesome. My fingerprint. Wow. <laughs> and then it'll fade. <laughs> so, what kind of accessories and stuff do they normally come with? Just a plug? And, a, and so you can actually get different lenses on it so it, you can get close up. Um, uh, they use them for electrical testing, they use them for uh, of course, he, uh, energy testing, heat and air stuff. So it's right. Your, your, your paranormal. The scoff. Stuff. The scoff. You could hear. <laughs> you really want it to be about paranormal stuff, no, aren't you? <laughs> you? You see that? I mean, well, those stupid shows. Yeah. All right. That's well, funny.